What's up guys, this is Jamrat coming to you today with a brand new video boys. Now today, let's talk about Team Heroes and let's talk about Market Theory. Now first and foremost, we're going to be talking about Team Heroes and then guys, we're going to be talking about theories that people have been coming up with the market. Um, I've been talking to a whole bunch of people about it as well. Um, we'll talk about that in the second half of the video. But first and foremost guys, let's just talk about Team Heroes. So, obviously... Team Heroes is, you know, it, it is a bit of a joke. You know, team, team Heroes, if you guys were playing Season 1, if you remember the first lot of Team Heroes that came out, absolutely fantastic, you know. Those those card, those card, packs that had three cards in them, you know, you could auction everything, you could get crests, you could get elite trophies, you know, you could do the sets. It was good, you know, I, I really loved those packs, man. Everybody loved those packs, everybody loved those Team Hero packs. They were absolutely fantastic. Now, let's just talk about this Team Heroes event. Now, first and foremost, I don't mind this 4 Stamina event. I think it's actually not too bad. The reason why I say that is because it's actually freeing up the market in terms of extinct cards like Kovacic, Taliso, um, Kiko Casillas. So there's a lot of people pulling this sort of stuff. Rudy, Kimmich, uh, Burnett, that, that sort of stuff, guys, you know. Uh, Baka Yoko. So that, that, that's okay, you know, I don't, I don't mind this one, um, but there is, there is a 30,000 FIFA point pack, which gives you one 88 overall card, which is unauctionable. Unauctionable. That is the problem that is happening with this game, guys. Everything is unauctionable. Now... For me, like, I don't spend money on the game, but for people who do, this is an absolute sunk cost, guys. What I mean by sunk cost is that an 88 overall player is pretty much going to be, you know, decent for a, a few weeks or so. But eventually, because it's unauctionable, it's just going to be used as training fodder, which costs more coins. Crazy, right? Now, one thing is very, very, very very disheartening about this guys I, I don't i actually cannot believe that when somebody showed this to my attention that it was actually the truth because it's actually really really sad where is it is it in the campaigns or is it yeah it's under campaigns look at this guys this is this is crazy guys they are taking away pretty much our mobile master now i'm i'm not sure there are achievements so hopefully we can actually get them from an achievement but in order to level up our Ronaldo, look at this guys. Acquire any team hero to earn this reward. Now, I watched Stop D's video. He opened up 30,000 FIFA points, I think. You know, plus all those other packs. And he didn't get one single team hero. This is such a huge worry, guys. First and foremost, they're unauctionable. So, they're so rare to get. You know, you can't purchase them with coins. The second thing is, is that... You know, if you want to level up your Ronaldo, you need to pay 30,000 FIFA points. 30,000 FIFA points. Crazy, man. Absolutely crazy, guys. It just does not make sense to me whatsoever. Um, that That is absolutely mental, in my opinion, man. 30,000 FIFA points is like over $400 in my currency. Come on, man. EA, meet us in the middle. Come on, bro. That That is absolutely atrocious. Like, you know, if you guys remember Marco Royce, you know, everybody could pretty much grind for that. That that was like one thing that we could all grind for easily. Like, not easily, but, you know, over time, you could get that. And at least with, like, uh, Anthony Martial, you could, you know, purchase a lot of stuff with coins off the market. But at the moment, guys, coins are pretty much only used for training. That That's it. Um... Which is just, you know, it's sad because it it really sort of affects the grinders out there. People don't have any other use for their coins except for training. And training is so expensive. Let's just quickly um, touch on one other thing. Now, I feel that like the Dali Ali, the Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, and the Antoine Griezmann, they shouldn't cost coins to upgrade, guys. I think it's just I think it's just a bit too much to just ask for the coins to upgrade these cards because these cards are like pretty much the only things which are grindable but i mean obviously if we can't get a team hero from the auction house 
what the hell? Like, I don't know how on earth I'm going to upgrade that Ronaldo. Let me know what you guys think about that. Like, I've been reading comments. I've been reading Reddit everywhere, guys. Everyone's just like, it's it's crazy, man. We're all we're only within the first week. Like, that is, I suppose, one thing that is, you know, sort of, you know, um, just one thing to consider. Like, let's hope that, you know, they do listen to us. They, I, I just want them to listen to us because I do enjoy this game, guys. I, I do enjoy it. But I just think that there's far too many um, cash grabs in it at the moment and it needs to be toned down a bit because at the end of the day with all of these cash grabs in the game it's just going to draw people away from the game and it's going to affect EA and their bottom line by taking away customers who actually uninstall the game. Right? Do you agree with that comment? Oh, that statement, sorry, because that is my opinion on it, guys. Um, I just want to quickly jump onto Reddit because somebody did break down the Team Hero event very, very well. So I just want to bring that to your attention, guys. So I'll just jump onto Reddit and I'll be right back. Just quickly, guys, what I was talking about in relation to um, the training costs associated to the, you know, technically League Masters, uh, Ronaldo, as well as um, the other one who escaped, uh, Griezmann. Look, 500k, guys. 500k. Crazy, eh? And that's only up to get him up to 86. That needs to be changed, in my opinion. Let's just actually just go through uh, just the state of the forums at the moment. Just, I'm not going to go into any of these guys, but just look at the titles. I've, I've been reading a few of them, as you can see. But just look at it, guys. We, we don't we don't want to be negative about this game, you know? I want this game to be awesome. I, everybody wants it to be awesome. Everybody is, you know, sharing their concern because we love the game. That, that That's it. That There's no other thing to it, guys. That's, that's all that it's about, you know? There's so many bugs. It's... it's it's just crazy, man. I really, I just, I, I really hope that it is fixed, guys. I really hope that it is, you know, friendlier for A, people that don't spend money, and B, for people that do spend money. Because the pack weight is absolutely atrocious, guys. Even if you are spending money, you know? It's just, I mean, I don't, I don't know if I reach out to the people who, you know, buy the big bundles, etc. But, guys, you know, if, if you guys are out there, you know, I feel for you guys. I feel for you. As well, matchups. Crazy, 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 crazy. Um, but yeah, just just look at this, guys. This is just... It's sad, man. It's sad. Um, I actually, before we go into the other thing, I do want to talk about the market. So this forum here um, was something that caught my attention. And yeah, I've been talking about it with some other people as well. Um, so I'll just read this to you. Um, so the state of the market and why people can't sell elites. So it seems like there is one correct and one bugged market with a huge price gap between them. This is probably why we can't sell our elites. In the correct market, you can find a lot of elite players to buy for under 300k. But if you are in the bugged market, you won't find any elites under 500k. And this is most likely the reason as to why half the people can sell their players, half people can't. One, one set of people or one set of you know, players are on the normal market where, you know, elite prices are slowly starting to drop and other people are on the bugged market where snipes sort of like look like they come through, but they're not snipes because technically those snipes, when you compare them to the non-bugged market are actually market value and that's why they're not actually selling guys. Um, so that, that is the theory pretty much behind the market. There's one good one, one bad one. I mean, this is all just theory, guys. It's not, you know, confirmed. We still haven't heard anything, you know, about it from the devs. But yeah, I, I am personally on the market that just sells stuff normally. Like, I was able to sell my Paul Pogba. I was able to sell my Peter Check. But, you know, it's like 50-50. Some people can, some people can't. And that, that is pretty much the reason as to why, guys. One market is like working normally with stuff starting to decrease and the other market is got really hyped up prices, but they're not actually market value. So I don't know. I don't know about that, guys. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about that. I can't actually find the forum in relation to um, just um, the, the stamina usage for the team heroes, but it's absolutely absurd, guys, because you need to grind it so much and you know so many people are just getting like a 70 overall gold it's 
it's not worth it man it's just not worth it guys um, but yeah, this is pretty much just gonna be the end of the video for today I just want to jump quickly back into the game and talk about matchups however So guys here we are just looking at matchups now. I just want to quickly claim these rewards um, So let's just talk about this. So first and foremost um, I don't like the fact that those points are not carried over that that's the first thing that I'm going to talk about um, I wish they were because if they were then you could, you know, sort of get, you know, one to two right every week and then just save them for a future player, you know? That would be nice. I, I, at the moment, pretty much all I'm getting are the coins and those points get reset. Uh, as you guys can see here, matchup points do not carry over. Um, the second uh, and probably the biggest thing at the moment is the fact that, you know, this week's one was just pretty much the only way you could do it. Um, as you can see, I did pick Man U because I know I, I wanted Man U to win. I support Man U, um, and obviously that one was a draw. The Russian one, the the Moscow derby. Um, pretty much, if you if you got you know three right this week, you have to pay two thousand FIFA points to get that Jesus. Hopefully they incorporate draws, guys, because you know real life football has draws. You know, it does, guys. It it does. It's it's a real thing. It would have been nice, you know, if EA had given people who got the draw. Maybe the player because I feel for them, man. A lot of people would have picked draw in that game, but instead I stuck with having to pay 2,000 FIFA points for an 83 overall Gabriel Jesus, who will probably be obsolete in terms of his, you know, his value. I mean, he he has no value. Of course, he has no value because he's unauctionable. I'm pretty sure he is unauctionable. He will he will have to be. It's the problem, guys. Everything is unauctionable. It's crazy. It's crazy. We need we need these things to be auctionable because people are not going to want to spend FIFA points on stuff that is unauctionable. It's a sunk cost. I just cannot express how important that is that EA need to understand that, that things need to be auctionable. Things from scouting need to be auctionable. Things from Team of the Week need to be auctionable. Team Heroes need to be auctionable. Matchup players need to be auctionable. Maybe not matchup players, but I mean, if you're paying FIFA points, it's crazy. Like, you don't, don't. Whatever you do, do not spend FIFA points on that card. Even though it looks like a good card, it's it's not worth it, guys. He's an A3 overall striker who will become ultimately training fodder in the months to come. In my opinion, like, I really think that just things need to be looked at in terms of what can be auctioned. Obviously, just the absurd uh, FIFA point packs you know uh and also just pack weight and obviously the market guys um and there are also quite a few bugs in the game the game lags the game crashes this is pretty much yeah, like i said gonna be the end of the video for today guys this isn't just me this is the community guys and you know i just want it to be a good game at the end of the day and so do we all you know that that's why we play this game we love this game and we just want it to be fixed Let's hope that EA does something about it, guys. And this is going to be the end of the video for today. Thank you all for everything and peace.